Hey guys, it is Kate here from katehuman.com and today I want to do a little mini review of a different webinar platform, particularly evergreen webinar platforms. So previously I've been a ever webinar user and you know advocate, I suppose. I really have, even though they had the tendency of being a little buggy, their features are so great. Um, and so I've kind of forgiven them for their bugginess over the years. Um, uh, sadly though, recently the bugginess has hit a whole new level. They've uh, done a new version and that version is buggier again. And I'm just, I'm done. I'm moving away from them. So bye-bye uh, ever webinar. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. Um, which makes me feel sad because, uh, you know, I have used them for a long, long time. And you always feel like, you know, you've been let down by it all. <laughs> um, and, you know, their founder passed away not long ago and, you know, it's a whole bunch of things. So I was really like hoping to, you know, I gave them a lot of grace and I was like, okay, guys, come back, please come back, fix this. They didn't, they got worse. So yeah, I'm done. And so what I've been doing is testing because now I'm like, okay, well, where, where do I go? And over the years, I've managed to accumulate quite a few lifetime licenses, like, let's, to be honest, I buy them all. Uh, so I've got a lifetime license for Webinar Ninja for Easy Webinar. Um, and I bought an annual um, license for Demio as well a little while ago. So I was like, well, let's use this time to test them. Let's see how we go and see, um, you know, see what ones, what's going to work best. So I've dived into them all. I'm going to give you a quick little overview of the ones I've tried, the sort of the pros and cons, um, particularly for evergreen webinars. That's what I'm testing them here for. Not so much for live. Um, live's a whole different kettle of fish. Uh, this is for evergreen. So let's start with um, Demio. So Demio, I have wanted to love and wanted to use for a really long time because the design is beautiful and the setup is really, really simple. Um, there's not like 12 different pages you have to go through of settings to set things up. It's pretty, like it's, it's simple and basic and you know, it just seems to have most of the things that you need. However, having said that, it is missing quite a few things, which kind of make me sad because <laughs> otherwise I'd be like, yep, that's the one, go for that one. So things that I think is missing and actually all of them other than really ever webinar are missing this feature. And there's another one called Big Marker, which I'm not going to do a review on this time just because I find the price is ridiculous. It's 200, nearly 200 US a month. Um, and so for a lot of people, that's unobtainable. Uh, you know, once you have an evergreen funnel that's working and making you tens of thousands of dollars a month, actually, that's quite a good investment for most people getting started. It's too much. So, um, so the thing it doesn't have is live chat role, uh, a replay. So when you're sh watching an evergreen webinar, like a pre-recorded webinar, I like the ones that will show replay the chat that was happening during the live record, the original live recording. And I like this for a few reasons. One, it's just a bit more interactive. Like sometimes staring at slides is boring. Also, um, quite often a question will come up in the chat that the person will then answer. So it kind of helps to see the question in the first place, as well as other people in the chat will also kind of chime in and add to that question. So it actually, that chat role quite often adds extra information. Also as an evergreen um, tool, it's great because you can almost use it as like a FAQ section where later on, if other questions have been submitted, you can post a an answer to them in the chat. So you're building out this extra, really valuable center of info. And my Evergreen webinar in Ever webinar had over 500 chat lines. Um, a lot of them, which were just like, hi, I'm such and such, blah, blah, blah. But we had at least 35 questions that we posted answers to. Um, and I thought that's just a really useful resource. And so I was really sad that none of them have this. Um, they, it is on the development timeline for Demio though. So that was a kind of a tick to them, but they don't have it yet. The other thing I thought was a bit strange that they don't have is with Evergreen is no replay setup. So quite often um, people will register for an evergreen webinar and then maybe they can't make the time they registered. And then you send them a link afterwards going, hey, don't worry, you missed it. You can watch the replay. They don't have that. That's not built in. There is no replay for evergreen. So um, what you'd have to do is, based on what we've done, is embed a video on a static page and say, hey, you can come watch the replay. Here's, here's the video. But when you do that, my thought is like, well, why wouldn't you just have that as where they go and watch the the webinar in the first place. Like really the only benefit is, is, is a form that has some, some fake times on it for the, the sessions. So yeah, so that's a, that's a bit of a strange one. 
Um, the other thing is it's quite limited with the emails that you can send. So that you can't send any emails after the webinar. Uh, so if they attend or not, cannot send them an email. So you have to make sure you've integrated with your email and that you have those follow-up emails coming from your email system. So like an active campaign or something. Um, they have like four web emails that go out beforehand. So the, um, the top part of the email, so you can't edit the subject, the top part of the email, which is, you know, like, hi, name, the workshop you registered for, and then the name of the workshop, you can't touch that. And then the bottom of the email, which has got the, like, the link to join the email, the unsubscribe information, the sign off, they're there. You can't touch those either. And I find that kind of strange because you might want, you might have a style that's a bit more formal or less formal, and you might want to have your sign off be that. Um, and the way you might not call it a webinar or a masterclass, you might have different terms. So again, I think it's weird that you can't edit those. And then it has just a text box for each of the four emails that allows you to send at set times. You can't change the times either, um, which don't allow any editing. So you can't include a link. You can't make things bold. You can't, you know, do any formatting in there. So again, just, just strange that it's missing that. Um, however, you know, it's really, as I said, the design is beautiful. It just works. The, so the one other thing that Demio um, doesn't do, which I wish that it did, is when you're looking at your stats. So what Demio does with um, Evergreen is you go and you set it up and you say, okay, I'd like an Evergreen session at like 8 a.m., 1 p.m., 8 p.m. Um, and then you have your just-in-time session, which is one that's starting now. Um, so that's kind of you know, pretty standard for Evergreen. But what it does is it makes actually a, a session out of each of these that's running um, and you can actually jump into that session if you wanted to, like you log in, it says the session's on now. You could jump in and you can send people chat messages if you wanted to, which is kind of cool uh, if you were gonna use it that way. But um, what it means is all the stats are individual. So if you're getting like one or two people in each of those sessions, the stats aren't really gonna mean much to you because you need to be able to see a bigger number for the stats to be significant. So the fact that you can't say, I wanna see the stats of all of the sessions together in the last seven days and give them that overall stats, you have to go session by session by session. That's kind of a pain. So that's probably the downsides of Demio. But as I said, plus sides, super simple, looks great, and so far seems to work just as well. So I've been actually testing it on a landing page and it, the sign up conversion rate is pretty much on par with what I had with ever webinar, which is about 45 to 50% sign up rate. So really, really pleased with that. Uh, second one, easy webinar. Now easy webinar has heaps of features. They've recently increased their price and added sort of higher tiers of pricing because they've got so many more features than what they used to. Um, they've also gone really all in on making sure things are reliable, which is great because that's, that's a big problem with a lot of webinars, particularly for live. They're just not reliable. They, you know, they cut out, they, um, all kinds of crazy things happen with the sound and the video, and that's just not a good experience. It's going to cost you sales. So they've spent a lot of time and money trying to make sure that what their broadcasts work. Um, they even have an option where it's kind of testing what's happening with your bandwidth and with your connection, and they'll drop you down to a lower resolution if it needs to be to make sure that you kind of, it keeps going. Um, so that's really cool for live. They've also got, you know, you can do Facebook lives and broadcasts and all kinds of stuff. Awesome. When it comes to Evergreen, very similar to Demio in that they don't have the chat roll. Um, however, they're not as pretty as Demio. And that's one thing that, I don't know, it's just part of my branding is that things need to look really nice. Um, and I think the people that I attract appreciate that. And I know that doesn't necessarily mean conversions at all. In fact, um, quite often the uglier stuff converts better than the pretty stuff, but it's a value of mine. And I spend a lot of time playing with the CSS to try and make the, the very basic pages look nice. Um, and the customization of what kind of goes onto the pages, again, is very limited. It's like, you can have an image, you can have some text, you can't play with it that much. I think they could have a nicer builder there, but again, I think they've focused on what is probably the higher priority, which is actually making sure the damn thing works. So the prettiness has suffered because it's just not the priority there. And at the end of the day, it's actually probably what you want. Now, both of these guys, really excellent support. If you actually send them a question or get stuck, they will get back to you, which is amazing and rare and not something, unfortunately, that Apple and I were doing. Um, so I can't really fault them for that. Um, I think 
really it's just it really is just the design and so the, the lack of flexibility on design that i think is the my only cross against easy webinar and the lack of the chat role as well so again if if neither of those are important to you, it's definitely one to go and look at. It is one of the higher priced, it's getting up to the higher price now. Um, but I think it's having that sort of peace of mind, definitely worth it. Um, the third one I want to talk about is Webinar Ninja. Webinar Ninja is one of the more affordable ones for sure. It does both evergreen and live. Um, it again is another one that's just kept things pretty simple. Uh, now the flip side of Webinar Ninja as composed to Demio. So Demio, if you do your evergreen webinar in Demio, you have to send your emails after that in an external service. Um, Webinar Ninja, the way that it integrates um, and the way that it tags is very limited. So again, you're not gonna be able to, you'll get, it'll apply a tag and it'll add someone to a list when someone registers, but you won't really be able to send much more information to that. So you're not gonna know whether they attended or they didn't attend, which again, if you're wanting to do your emails after the webinar in your own email service, it's not really gonna work. It's gonna be a bit clunky. So you, what you have to do, and then the workaround is you just have to send any emails that go out or, the, or your first few anyway, that go out after your webinar, you have to send them from inside webinar ninja so that's that's the workaround that's really the only sort of down you know downside to it the rest of it um i have found doing i've done a few live webinars with them i did them there's more for students not live ones actually uh, as far as you know during a launch and i did find that they did drop out a little bit and there was some connectivity issues so i don't know how stable their platform is having said that i'm in australia my internet sucks everyone struggles to get to have a good connection uh, with me. But I did notice we had that happen on multiple times where the camera actually just shut off um, randomly, I had to shut it down, restart, refresh to get the camera back. Um, a few little things like that. So I don't know if the investment's been made there in making that as stable a platform as possible for live. However, Evergreen, it does, you know, you don't have to worry about those things so much. Um, again, the, you know, what you can and can't edit is a little limited. Um, but you know it looks nice it looks clean you have all the stuff that you want to have like there's again no chat replay but you like all of them you can have offers that come up at certain times you can have countdown timers you can have a question box so people can send through questions throughout it and you can respond to them via email so they all kind of cover off the same things it just really depends on again as i said what i suppose what your value and what's most important to you if you're like i just need one that works i probably go with your easy webinar. Um, if you're like, I need one that, you know, I'm quite design and looks is, is important to me, then Demio is probably your best bet. And if you're like, actually, I just don't want to spend that much money, um, but I want one that ticks most of the boxes, then I'd say um, Webinar Ninja is probably the one for you. So let me know uh, what you are using. Uh, have you found one that you love? Um, are you using one of them? Have you got any other feedback, any features that perhaps are important to you or that I've missed? Let me know in the comments below and yeah, I'll be back to chat more geeky, nerdy, funnily things with you guys next week.